really cool chance, baby. Huh. All right. Anything to say? Okay. Now y'all niggas don't want to say nothing. Okay. All right. Cool. <laughs> <Who are we? laughs> okay. Energy. Energy. Got PTSD, energy, energy. Energy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Fuck both of y'all. Welcome. <laughs> welcome everybody to another edition of. Wow, I was actually about to say convos with Bishop. That is crazy. Um, yeah, I know. The Really Cool Jets podcast. I'm your host, Marvel Bishop. As always, I am here with some really cool guys, man. Uh, Trey's here. Dramatic's here. Um, in spirit, <laughs> Jordan's here. Ricardo's here. What shit happens? Ear, ear, ear. What's up, guys? What's up, Shout guys? Shout out to the team. Shout out to the team, man. Yeah. Um, we are actually potting on a different day today, but it's all good. Shit happens. Potting on release day. Potting on, re- no, well, before release day. Wednesdays. I'm, I'm bugging. Yeah. Before release day. Well, I mean, technically speaking, we are actually potting on release day because when this actually comes out, it would be Wednesday. So you're actually technically, technically right. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> One win for dramatic. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah man. Um, what's going on, man? What's, what's, uh, what's popping? How y'all feeling? I mean, life is popping, man. Yeah. I've been through a lot recently, but yeah. just to keep it simple, I have some great people around me, great friends, great family. So, as always, yeah. It just makes the bullshit not seem as bad. It's always good, man. It's always good to, to be reminded that you you have good people. And you Absolutely. always need to be reminded of that. You know, no matter how many times it take, you need to ask, like, you know, remind people. Um, kind of goes back to what you were talking about uh, last week, Trey. Um, always checking the strong ones. You know what I'm saying? No matter what. Yeah, man. The good people go through it too. And it's um, it's a very interesting coincidence that we all in the forest right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But even though we're in, in the forest right now, I mean, uh, we're, we're going to be able to, to get out. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to be in the forest forever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We, we passing through the forest right now. Yes. Is that, yes yeah, exactly. we're not stuck in it. Bro, I think, through. listen, yeah, exactly. we're not lost. Exactly. Mind you. Yeah. Some people are, but for the people that are not, that are here, um, and even for the people who are lost, the one thing I wanted to say, um, it's crazy because you know what? Like, we actually do have like a mental health undertone when it comes to this podcast, which is actually fucking phenomenal because black men do not speak about this shit as much anymore. Mm. Bro, every feeling, every sentiment, everything that you go through, it's all temporary. I mean, that that's always... Uh, the thought I have that helps me get through it, but like, yo, this is not gonna last forever. Yeah, like it's it it's, it has an end. No, it, it is, because you're not sure when the end's gonna come, but it's gonna come. Because sometimes the feeling that you get and you, that you have, it actually does feel like forever. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It feels like eternity. Yeah, when you're in it, and then when you look back, you're like, damn, it was only that long. Yeah, it was only it just, a day. Yeah. It was only a half a day. Yeah. So, so um, in, in in like the meditation world, they call that the present moment, right? Okay. Okay. So. The object of meditation is like focus on um, one thing until you lose track of time. Mm-hmm. Mm. And that's what the present moment is. Mm-hmm. And when you were like so deep in the forest, so deep in the darkness that that's the only thing that you can see, it feels like, you know, you're so focused on that that you lost track of time. So that becomes your present moment. Mm. And the mm. present moment itself is timeless. And that's why it feels like forever. Mm-hmm. Okay. Trey gems. Hashtag Trey gems. Trey after death. <laughs> Trey, Trey after Trey after bars. Yes, um, <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, yeah, man. Everything like that is fucking temporary, man. But always remember, but you know what's not fucking temporary? Oh boy. How trash the fucking village is. Oh, first of all, first of all, what? Go. First of all, I'm here. What? I'm that here. Tell them. Huh? Tell them. Oh, you don't even you don't even know what the you. fuck I'm talking about, bro. You ever seen you ever even seen the movie? Who, who ain't seen the movie? You. I seen the village. Yeah, right. Too First bad. of all, it was I, a I, table. and it was amazing. I, I feel bad you. for your eyes. You are no, outnumbered. Niggas <laughs> always be fucking you just teaming up on me, dog. Why are you hurt? Huh? Yeah, yeah sorry. You know Let why? Let him I'm, speak. You know why? Why was it bad? Why was it bad? And if you mm-hmm. don't know, the village in it is a movie by M Night Shyamalan. Bro, listen, talk, talk to them. Don't talk to me. Talk to them. We talk, um, don't look at me. The movie is a village. I, to look at him. I, I thought it was Shyamalan. Shyamalan. <laughs> I thought it was, what happened to Cavos with Bishop? And M Night Shyamalan just dropped his newest movie. I know he that. dropped his huh? newest movie called Old. Um, M Night Shyamalan also made the village. And it, that actually Old looks was fucking... terrible. Oh wow! What was that? about? No, no, it was bad. It was about people that arrived on a beach that aged them. It aged them by like by the hour, by the minute. Yeah. Hmm. But like kids, the concept kids having, was dope. having babies and shit like at like 12, like exactly 11. crazy shit. The concept was dope, but the execution was subpar. I was okay. So all, right, all, right, all right. So let's stay on now, that. Parallel. Let's stay on that. Let's stay on back that. to the village. The concept was dope, but the fucking execute. No, honestly, the whole movie was fucking trash, bro. Trash. I slept. 
It was the best sleep I ever had in my whole entire life. <laughs> now you're just being facetious. No, I'm, but, I'm but, no. But <laughs> maybe that's why it was trash because you missed the whole thing. Ooh. Duh. Okay. Facts. Well, no, 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 no. You know, I was, I, I was gonna give you a soundbite, but no, nah, never mind. Um. Okay. Well, let me first. Like let me tell you why the movie was good. Go ahead. Because Go ahead. the concept of it. So. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen The Village. This movie is like 15 years old, nigga. If niggas haven't seen this shit. I still give a spoiler alert. Nah, 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 nah. Fuck them niggas. I gotta. Fuck them niggas. If they haven't seen it to now, bro, fucking. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking get the fuck out of here. Well, you gotta watch it after this Okay, yeah, whatever. It's about this. uh, So it starts off with like an 18th century village and um, the elders are telling them they'll go into the forest as these monsters and they show the monsters. Monsters come at a certain time of night. So eventually you you find out that. This village that they're in is set in the present day mm-hmm. because one of the um, one of the villagers got sick and they sent their blind daughter out <laughs> to get the medicine already already. No, no, up. listen. Now, the, the reason that's significant, because she can't go out and say, oh, what I saw, because she can't you know, she's blind. She can't see anything. So they okay. sent her out as like, a you know, it's like a. You know, we, we still want help, but we still don't want people to find out what's going on here. Mm-hmm. So what it is at the end of the movie, you find out that they that they think society is so fucked up that they want that they had to get away from society and build their own little thing. Mm-hmm. And in a way, that makes a lot of sense, especially nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't want to expose your children to certain stuff. You don't want to see certain things, hear certain things, and to the extreme where you'd rather start your own little place and lie to your kids. Like imagine the world being so bad that you don't want to expose it, expose it to them at all. You lie to them their entire life. Mm-hmm. That's how bad they thought the world was. Mm-hmm. And I mean, the part in the movie where she jumped the wall and everybody was like, wait, this is it. Da da da. I admit that was kind of, Oh, you know what I'm saying? I understand uh, why you can get upset at that. So, I'll but just- when she went back to the village, she was still conflicted. Her father told her all that shit wasn't true. Mm-hmm. And she went out into the real world and spoke with person. But she was so jaded. She was so frightened that she still couldn't fully believe it. She was brainwashed. She was brainwashed. I was brainwashed. So it's like, a, it's like movie. a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a catch 22. Yes, I'm mad. 15 years later, I'm fucking mad. <laughs> it's like a catch 22. Yeah. You protect your kids, but you brainwash them at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So, it, I think it was a good movie. What was I think so. what was the part? Because here's the thing: when I actually woke up and I actually fell back asleep, <laughs> what was the part where um, some dude? Uh, uh, okay, I don't want to say the R word because you have to be very, very sensitive in these times. Okay, but the person Sism- with down assist. with 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 Down syndrome. Oh, that oh, got oh, slapped, um, slapped. So many R words. Yeah, you, you talk about uh, Adrian Brody. So that was Adrian Brody. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me. Um, oh shit! Damn. So in the Bro, movie, that's my, that's my they made him play the monster because yeah, Adrian Brody is my client. I know. Yeah. Oh really? Oh yeah. shout out Adrian Brody. Yeah. And shout I didn't out see the, the pianist, but it was a, yeah. Shout Marvel out Marvel. Shout right? out himself. He gave himself a plug at the, to a pause. Right? <laughs> 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 gave himself Whoa. a plug at the, in the beginning. <laughs> really, I'm the plug. Really, I'm the plug. First of all, I am not giving myself any plug. I would hope not. Okay? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so the point of Adrian Brody's character, Jesus Christ, is that yeah, he was. On the spectrum, he was slow, so he couldn't tell anyone. He played one of the monsters. Mm-hmm. They sent him out there as a monster okay. because okay. he couldn't say, oh, I'm playing a monster and this is fake. They did that deliberately. And then when you, you know, when she tricked him and made him fall in the ditch and whatever, and you found out, oh, the monster's fake, so it's all this fake. Like, it was just a, it was like a mind, it was, it was a mind game. But people want horror they want heads cut off and buckets of blood all over the place horror is not always about that horror is sometimes psychological psychological suspense sometimes it's emotional well horror yeah. is always, I've seen it's always emotional about emotional horror movies say it again horror horror flicks are always about us us as in black people or us humans? as in humans oh, okay <laughs> like it's always about some element of us that that we live with every day and it's just amplified uh-huh. to be entertaining very well put that's exactly what horror movies are that's exactly what horror movies are that's You're another thing right, too yeah. that's another thing too real quick First of all, fuck horror movies, all right? And we're going to get out of here. You don't like nothing. No. <laughs> I love horror movies. Um, it, it, it's weird, but I love them. <laughs> duh, I, I don't understand why the fuck am I going to pay or like pay for something that's going to actually deprive me of my sleep. Do you, do you pay for amusement parks? Do you pay for roller coasters? First of all, number one, I would if I can fit. Oh, 
<laughs> so, so, so I, like, okay, yeah. But you know those things, you, you, you know those things like, yo, you gotta be like this tall. No, you gotta be this small this to fuck small. it. Yeah, no, exactly. I feel you. That makes no, sense. that's not happening with me. We don't want. But I mean, music part. Final destination. Yeah, thing no, 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 yo, yo, remember that shit? That yeah. That was like one or two. Another horror movie. Yeah, See how we brought it right back. But not that. But that to me, <laughs> this, this nigga. Final Destination wasn't really a horror. That was more like suspense and more like. What's that? Final Destination to me wasn't necessarily horror. Well, it, it was. Suspense, you can call drama. it horror because it's it's very real. It could happen. Yeah. Personally, my favorite horror movies are shit that could happen to me in everyday life. Mm-hmm. Like when you were younger, you're scared of Jason and Michael Myers and Chucky. How do you feel but, about that new movie that's coming out? Uh, Halloween. The new Halloween? Yeah. They're doing it justice. I, I, th- I think that looks really yes. fucking crazy. The first one was great. Uh-huh. I, I really hope the sequel's good. They're doing it justice because mm-hmm. there's a whole bunch of shitty remakes, but they're doing it justice. But when you're younger, all that shit scares you. You're like, oh, if a man comes in wielding a chainsaw or machete, he's going to cut me up. Of course, that's scary too. When you get older, you realize that shit is literally impossible. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't scare you the same. But when I'm watching a movie like, there's a movie called uh, The Babadook. And that just sounds it's crazy. a metaphor for um, depression and mental health. Okay. But uh, you got to watch the movie. It is so fucking bro, good. I forgot what the name of the movie was. And after this, we'll... we'll, we'll and we'll it's not an ounce of blood in that movie. <laughs> there is a movie that was out. I got to find out what it is. Um, it was so traumatizing to the actors and actresses. They had on staff psychologists, psychiatrists, oh, and therapists. You're talking about on, the exorcist. Was it the exorcist? Yeah. The ex- First no, of all, like, like on the, like on staff, exor- nigga. Like so, right. So, so that's yeah, the type it, it might have been the exorcist. Me. Yeah. It might have been the exorcist. I'm not scared of the serial killers and shit. I'm scared of like ghosts. Yes, and that's demons, another thing. Demons and shit. The demons and the real life shit is what gets me now. The ghosts, the possessions. Mm. Mm. Okay. I mean, at the end of the day, you can still do that wrong, but I think it's the exorcist because because like the exorcist is like the have, granddaddy have, of horror movies. Have you guys <laughs> have you guys ever had any uh out of body, um, like angelic or demonic experiences. Uh, uh, I had an out of body experience, or like angelic or demonic experiences, or encounters more than with, I can count with with spirits. More than I can count. I had one. I've had two. Well, I've had actually, a really good I, I one. Had a few. I had a few actually. Have you ever yeah. had? Have you ever had sleep paralysis? No, that's I one thing. That's one paralysis. thing that. So like you, what was it? Like you're 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 paralyzed when you're sleeping. Like you're sleeping, but you you're know awake? you're not sleeping, but you're awake. Exactly. Yeah. Your eyes open. You can literally only move your eyes and your eyelids. You can't move anything else in your body. You feel frozen. Okay, so and some people yeah. see things. So I have several stories. Uh, if you want me, to share so the, listen. I, you know what? Fine, we're fucking. We're here. Like let's. Like, we're potting. Okay. Um, you guys want to hear both of the stories? I want to yeah, hear sure. all the stories. Want to hear all the stories? Okay, so what should I go with? So lock I go, the door. Huh? Lock. I did lock the door. God, that'll be crazy, right? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> having another unexpected guest, right? <laughs> Yo, Tell wow. them. Tell them God. Anyways, that was a joke. Um, you want to hear the good, the good one or the bad one first? Good one. Okay. All right. Whoo. Okay. So, man, you know, you know what's crazy? I've only told a handful of people this. Oh wow. But fine. You know what? As I always say, fuck it. We're here. Um, hashtag we potting. Yeah. Hashtag <laughs> we're potting, man. We're potting. Okay. So, how long ago was this? This was 2011. Wow, that's funny. My 2011, 2010. Yeah. My experience in 2010. That was really? Time. Continue, continue. Okay. <laughs> so, it was me, um, my, frat, my frat brother at the time, and we were in uh, his car, and we were going towards Flanagan's. Off of US one, y'all know what that yeah, is. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay, yeah, which one? Uh, the one by the strip club. By 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 across, uh, across the BTs. street from Red Lobster, that one. Oh no! Well, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly it's kind of like an alleyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like yeah. yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. so I was with him, and we were also with some other girls too in another car. So we went and go and park. It was like around like eleven thirty at night, and we parked. And before that, he was actually about to step out. He was like, hey, listen, I'm about to take a call real quick. Can you please step out so I can, you know, get this call? I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem. So now, meanwhile, before I stepped out, my window was down. So I was able to hear, like, cars and sirens and, like, people, you know, walking and talking and everything else who breathe. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And just like, you know, normal, normal time. When I stepped out about two to three seconds later, 
I did not hear a pin drop. It was like literally, if it, it, it literally felt like time has stopped. Nobody came out of the cars. There was more cars too and more people in there. I was literally, it felt like I was literally the only person on earth. Ooh. So I'm like, yo, like, um, can I do a Dragon Ball Z reference real quick? Absolutely. Can, can we, y'all, y'all, okay, y'all with me? Yeah. Okay. So um, you know when Goku was uh, training in Hyper the- Hyperbolic times. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, not even that, actually. The time when he was actually going to Namek, going to, uh, to, to fight Frieza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, gra- yes. the, the gravity thing, whatever, yeah, when yeah, it right? broke. And then when it broke, and he like fucking like went down and shit. Yeah. I didn't go down, but um, that's actually the other story. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I felt some pressure. Pause. It was, yeah, you can pause that. Oh, big pause, big yeah, pause. big pause. Big pause, big pause, big uh, pause. Nah, you know what? We don't need that. <laughs> um, and uh, it did not feel threatening to me. It actually felt very, very inviting. Mm. 30 seconds later, I'm looking around. I'm not hearing anything. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? All right, so let me fast forward a little bit. A woman that looked Indian, black hair, straight down with denim outfit on, and she had a beer glass with her. She looked at me, and she's like, hey, what's going on? And I'm like, I'm, I'm good. What's going on with you? And she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, do- I'm doing good. She's like, hey, uh, you know, it's, it's, it, it feels like a really good night tonight, right? Like She's just like smiling at me right from, from ear to ear. Oh. And I'm like, yeah, it's it's a good night, and she's drinking and shit, right? So me, you know, I'm I'm on I'm on a hundred all the time. I'm yeah, yeah, about yeah. to hit me with a glass or whatever, or, it is. <laughs> or something, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck out of here, right? No, so she looked at me and she was like, yeah, yeah, it's just definitely gonna be a good night, you know. Um, so I was like, yeah. So what are you doing here? I was like, no, I'm just I'm just here, just like you know, ready to get some fu- from some food and, and Flanagan's. And like, yo, this, it literally felt like, like a half an hour has actually passed. Like it felt like a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. And then she drank and she was like, yeah, no, definitely. That's good. And then she was like, you know, you have a very special purpose in this life. Do you? Mm. I've run into women like that. They, yeah. I was like, man, I had a few experiences. I was like, I was like, what? She's like, yeah. (laughs) You have a very, very special purpose in life. And she kept on smiling. She was like, you don't know now, but trust me, you're going to find out. And the whole world is going to know. And I was like, well. Well, then. (laughs) Thank you, dog. I swear on everything I loved. I turned around, checked for my phone, looked up, gone. Gone. Yep. That's Mm. how it happens. Yep. I know that story all too well. Bro. Like literally did this. Go on, dog. I could dog. I'll, I swear to God, no, bro. I believe you. I, I believe you hundred percent, bro. I went around. I looked around. Dog, I couldn't find her. I believe you hundred percent. Trust me. That bro, shit I, happens all the time. Yeah, I got goosebumps right now. Like yeah, like and then also <laughs> what happened was as soon as that happened, about like it sounded like you know like the like the like like time that is about to catch up again as soon as that happens everybody came out the car all at once wow mm. that's trippy yeah that's mad and then trippy. i stopped and then like my 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 brother went like this and i jumped and i was like he's like he's like yo why are you sweating <laughs> it, wow. it's it's like december it's like fucking 65 degrees out like why are you sweating I was like, I didn't know I was sweating. I was like, you know, it, I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know why I'm sweating. Whatever. I've been here for like 30, like 30 minutes. He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? I was on the phone for only two minutes. Dog, <laughs> dog, 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 Twilight dog, 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 yeah, that, went inside and 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 that was it. Now my experience was less enlightening and way more frightening. I'm yeah, a poet and I, I don't yeah. know it. That's fine. So this was by 2010, and mm-hmm. I was at my uh, church's like annual camp. They go for like three, four days, and you know worship and whatever. So <clears throat> this is in Leesburg, Florida, mm-hmm. aka Boondocks. I mm-hmm. think it's Spanish for Boondocks. <laughs> I'll be <being> silly, <laughs> but. So uh, there's, like, new cabins and there's old cabins. I was in the old cabins, way in the back, 
And it was so, it's so close to the forest, it looked like the forest is like swallowing it. Mm-hmm. That's how old it is and all the trees going around. So I'm in there sleeping and I had a dream that I was in the, I was in my uh, old house and I was in the kitchen with my pops and in our house, you can look from the kitchen straight to the Florida room and Florida rooms with Jamaica's called what the TV room is. Mm-hmm. And in the Florida room, there was an old woman in a black wedding dress. So it was the same long wedding dress, but it was black. And she was looking straight up, and she was just screaming. Oh, and God. I'm looking at my dad, and we're like, what, is, what the hell is wrong with this woman, Dada? Uh-huh. And we, we kept talking, and I guess we spoke too loudly, and she cut her screaming. And th- by the way, this is a dream. I'm going to get to the rest. Okay. She cuts her sh- sh- screaming. I guess she heard us, and she looked straight at us. Okay. And when she looked straight at us, I woke up out of my sleep in sleep paralysis. And guess who's hovering above me? That same woman. That same Ooh. woman. Ooh. Now, I'm in, a, I'm in sleep one. paralysis. Ooh. I'm in sleep paralysis. I cannot <laughs> Yo. move. Yo. All I did was open my mouth. And also in sleep paralysis, you can't speak. You can open your mouth to scream, but it will be silence. Yeah. I screamed. I'm looking around. And I see the people in my cabin sleeping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm trying to say, help, help. And after about two seconds, she lunged at me. And I woke up. And I woke up sweating. I'm looking around. I'm like, nobody hurt everybody dead sleep. And I'm like, I could have sworn I screamed. Nigga. Dog, that was one of the scariest sleep paralysis moments. I've had several sleep paralysis moments. Yeah, I've never had it before. So much so, so much so that I can control it. Like, when I feel it coming, yeah. they said you either wiggle your feet or you pray. They say if you pray, if you call out to God, you'll, you'll get snapped out of it. And it works. Mm-hmm. It works every day. It's 100% foolproof. But, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's fascinating. So, so you know, it's funny. I I had sleep paralysis many times in my life, mm. and there was there was like a few years. I'm gonna cut you off. What do Jamaicans call it? They call it a witch riding your back, which sounds a thousand times scarier. <laughs> but continue, sorry, sorry. Yo, it's it's, it's even oh, scary yeah. when the Jamaicans say it. Yeah, <laughs> a witch I ride your back because <laughs> they say it so matter of fact. Yes. Like, oh yeah, this is just a part of life. It's exactly. Like, yeah. Witches, they out here, fam. They just yeah. Mm-hmm. Riding Get back, used so. to it. <laughs> and they dead ass. But so I had plenty of plenty of sleep paralysis experiences, and then um, they stopped for a while. Like I used to get them like every other night, mm. and. It's funny the like it stopped for years and then like two months ago, right? Oh, this is recent. <laughs> oh shit. Yes. Two months ago, um I'm I'm laying in bed in the morning. It's like five AM and I realize that I can't move my body. And I'm looking around, I move my eyes around and I see this dude who's like laying across my legs and my girl's legs. Like he was, he was just resting on both of our bodies on his back. Yeah. Looking up at the ceiling, the candy man. Oh, what the f- so I'm like, what is going on? And, um, <laughs> and I'm trying to move my body and I'm not even, I'm not even stressed that this guy is here right now. I'm just like, I can't move. And this is, this is uncomfortable. I need help. And, and your girl's knocked out. Gone. Mm. <laughs> so I look at I, I look at Buddy and I'm thinking, I'm thinking the word help. And the second I said help in my mind, he uh he turned his eyes. We made, we made eye contact. Not his head, he turned his eyes. He turned his eyes. Oh, come mm. on. Looking man. straight, he's looking straight up at the ceiling. His head is pointing straight up at the ceiling, and then he turns his eyes and looks at me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, son, nah, so, nah, 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 nah. So he rolls over. What? He moved. He oh, rolls over. I feel him lift his body weight off of my legs, off my lower legs. He rolls over, then reaches to my chest, and I felt his hand mm. on my chest. It was mm. it was heavy. Mm. Wow. Like, mm. like the nigga be in the gym. <laughs> you got boxer hands. <laughs> They could be having heavy ass hands too. And, and he woke me up. So as soon as he touched my chest, uh-huh. I could move my body and yeah. he was gone. Oh and, man. We should have saved this shit for Halloween. <laughs> hey man. Don't worry, there's plenty more. It's, nah, oh, plenty I more. Got, I got I got I got plenty I got, more. I got um I actually got two bad ones, but I'ma say I'ma save I'ma save the other one 
for Halloween. Okay, I, I got another one. I, I can say, I can say that. Too. So I, I, I'll, I'll, um, I'll indulge in, in the in the in the bad one too. And this is this is this is crazy because it actually had to do with the type of line of work that me and you do. Mm. Um, so New Orleans, New Orleans is a great city. I respect it, and it's also I, haunted as fuck. And Very because haunted. of my spiritual presence and my experience and who I am as a person. I've only went there a few times and I will never go back there ever again. Mm. I can't. I cannot go to New Orleans. Wow. I can't. Wow. Crazy shit. That's bad. <laughs> um, so, long story less long. We were at a bar in uh, what's, the, what's the street? French, um, uh, Bourbon, uh, street. Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street, yeah. Quarter. So there's a bar in, in uh, Berman Street, and we had a section, and it was two levels. So the first level, we were there. I was with my client at the time. Um, <laughs> it's funny. Um, I've never actually told my client this, and he listens to this podcast, so he's going to know exactly who am I talking about. <laughs> this is the first time he's actually heard this story before. Um, so he was with whoever at the time, and he needed to go to the bathroom. So as me, you know, the liaison, doing whatever, you know what I'm saying, host, bodyguard, whatever the fuck you want to call it, mm-hmm. I walk him to the bathroom. Now, when we go upstairs, right, there is a hall, right? In the middle, everything is kind of like open, but at the corner, at the far end, um, there was there's the bathroom. So it takes about maybe like a minute, maybe a minute and a half to actually go to the bathroom, right? It's one person per bathroom. Well, no, it's one bathroom. So I walk them, I walk them in. As I'm walking him there, I'm feeling this pressure on my neck, bigger okay. and bigger and bigger. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? What, what, what's happening here? So I'm walking, and he's like, hey, listen, um, me and her, we're about to go to the bathroom real quick. Um, you know, we're just going to go together, just you know, hold it down. I'm like, yeah, sure, I ain't going to do nothing. I'm going to be here. I'll wait for you until we have to go back inside. And I'm like, okay, so the pressure's getting bigger and bigger. And then as soon as he closed the door, I dropped to the ground. What the fuck? I dropped to the ground. I dropped on all fucking fours. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Now let's get back to Goku, right? With the whole fucking yeah. gravity shit. <laughs> that's exactly what that is. Now that's a really good example right there, right? Yeah, yeah. Where it's like a hundred times fucking gravitational force of fucking yeah, earth and shit. Yeah. Bro. I swear to you, I could not get up. Literally, I am screaming at the top of my fucking lungs, but nothing is coming out. Yo. Nothing is coming out. I'm like here, like pressure, pressure, pressure. I, I feel, I'm feeling my bones are about to crack. Wow. And I'm like, I'm trying to scream, whatever. I'm like, yo, what? Like, just, just like, oh, damn, I'm getting, good. I'm, I'm getting chills right now. And I'm trying to get up, trying to get up, trying to get up. But then I try to get up, down to the floor, down to the floor. Trying to fucking take up all my fucking might. Then about maybe a minute later, an actual minute, <laughs> not the fucking crazy shit that I experienced before, which I wish it, I wish it was, or whatever. At least that was a good fucking, a uh, good time. As soon as he fucking opened the door, it released. He looked at me. He's on like, the floor. He's like, why are you on the floor? I was like, nah, man, I'm just doing push-ups, man. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's so funny. So I'm like, literally, like, as soon as I saw him, whatever, like, you know, like, you know, like, yeah. I think black men do this, whatever. Whenever they fall, like, you know, inadvertently or like, yeah, like uh, they start uh, like doing push-ups yeah. or whatever. Yeah, that's, that's what I started doing. But <laughs> you're a fucking riot. That's funny. So, so in the bodyguard world, you always got to stay in character. Yes. No, and, no, I, yeah, and, I, and, I, and, I, I and I'm, that much. And, and I'm sure that this, that I'm not the only person that's happened to. I'm sure that you're not the only person that's happened to. But your client catches you in like a weird position. Like, cause something, something happened that he wasn't supposed to have awareness. No, of, not he, at all. And then he just caught you looking weird and yeah. you had to make up an excuse on the uh-huh. fly. Yeah. No, I literally bust out like five pushups real quick. Wow. Well, like, you got a job. I had to, to do maintain. something. I, I had to no, do I something. I mean, I was yeah. hosting in, in bodyguard, but obviously, you know, I'm, you know how we do. And, um, so that happened. So I took him back, bro. I'm like, I'm literally like at that time. And this is the crazy part when it comes to um, actually like doing that type of alert, type of work or whatever. When it comes to taking care of people and hosting and bodyguarding, at the end of the day, no matter what the fuck you're going through, you have to stay in character. It does not matter what you're going through. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. Like you have to stay poised. Mm-hmm. So I am literally screaming like a little ass fucking child inside because 
I had this fucking experience that I've never experienced before. I'm hurting, but at the same time, I still have to stay erect and still fucking poised and stoic and yeah. take my client back. Yeah. You got a job to do. Yeah. And then I'm not done. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not I'm done. I'm never going to New Orleans now. Jeez. <laughs> I'm not done. Bro, the whole time from that end up until I left that because it was crazy because that time that it happened it was the last night that I had and I had a five thirty o'clock I had five thirty in the morning um, flight. Um, um, flight. Okay. I felt as if there was a spirit literally rushing me out of fucking New Orleans. Wow, I wouldn't be surprised, bro. You got to go back and figure out what that was. I uh, nigga, I'm going what? going. What was back, that about, dog? You don't want to know. <laughs> you don't Prob- want to know why they don't want you there. I mean, maybe because I'm a real ass nigga, <laughs> but but like it could nah. be something your ancestors did. Probably, I don't know. Because have you been to New Orleans before that? No, it, that it, was the first time I've ever been there. No, nah, it's something. It's something from your past that you have no control over. Like your ancestors, bro. Probably did seriously, some wild seriously, shit seriously, seriously, I felt the rush something. of something literally haunting me from the time I dropped off my client, from the time that I, I went to the fucking hotel. Mm. Yo, I've never rushed so fuck and never felt so scared in my life. To rush out of a fucking hotel and rush to a fucking airport. And guess what? The time that I actually fucking got onto my fucking, my seat. First class, by the way. You know the fucking vibes. Um, Abundance, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Abundance, Abundance, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cool shit. Cool shit. Bro, the rush and the pressure of that demonic presence did not leave up until I took off. Oh, I thought she was going to say until you landed in no, Miami. No, 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 no. <laughs> that until, I, no until I took off. Until I took off, that's when it started to dissipate. Yeah, yes. it was like, go on, get. Yeah. <laughs> get out of here. Exactly. So, Nobody wants you. So so, so, wow. so, I spoke to my mom's um, um, really good friend, best friend, actually, and she's, she's into Obia and all that shit, right? Uh, she told me that that presence was never for me. It was actually for my clients. Oh, so that like, presence was for my client, eh? and that was actually supposed to go and destroy him. But because of my spiritual pressure and who I am as a person, uh-huh. I was able to handle it, and I took that. I took it on. Wow, that's deep. That's see, that's taking bodyguard into another fucking level. Like you're a spirit guard, now. a spiritual <laughs> Not just bodyguard. A bodyguard. It's spirit. That's a new bag. Yo, emotional guard. Well. No. Yo, I'm going to write that movie, A Bodyguard That Fights Off the Spirits. Off the pod? Off the pod? Spirit. Off the pod. Off the pod. Spirit guard. <laughs> yeah. Spirit no, 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 no. Bro, like, um, whew. yeah, wow. bro. That that was. um. Yo, we went way left just now. Yeah, yeah, I'm we did. Yeah, you. we did. We said, fuck the docket. But guess what? I don't fucking care. It don't matter. <laughs> it's crazy. But you know what? Nice little segue. It's all good. Yeah, definitely. Um, so <laughs> speaking of like bodyguards and all that, right? And nightlife. Let's get into this real quick. Um. Okay, Trey. Trey, take it away. Mm. So we've had by our boy, Mr. Anthony Bird. He's the probably bird sleeping. He's, word. he's probably sleeping right now. There's no way. There's no way he's up right now, right? There's no way he's asleep right now. No, he's not? Nah. He, okay. All right, all right. Explain to what you brought into the docket, and then we'll, we'll, take, it, we'll take a go. So uh, my boy, Bird. He um, he's a mover and shaker in nightlife. He's a, a, a gatekeeper, so to speak. And these gatekeepers, there's there's a few of us around. Right, you hit them up, and um, if you are a female, uh, they can get you in places for free. I mean, they can they can exercise that same power for guys too, but like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It, it it really is reserved for the females exclusively. So this chick hits him up, and she's like. Yo, um, what's good tonight? I got me and my girls out here. We we trying to get into so and so, and he's like, "Okay, cool." First question he asks, "Send me your Instagram." Mm. And I don't remember what 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 she said next, but she we like, can we can pull it up. No, 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 he, no. He was like, "Do you have Instagram?" She was like, "Yeah." And then she changed the subject. She asked, she asked another question. He's like, "Yeah, all right, cool. Send me your Instagram." No Instagram follows. Hey, bird. Uh, blank. Wait, wait, she had no followers or just a little bit of followers? No, the Instagram never followed in the conversation. Yeah, so yeah, she yeah, never oh, 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 Hey, gotcha, Bird. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, Bird, man. Bird, man. Hey, Bird, man. Bird, man. Bird, uh, <laughs> hey, Bird, man. Uh, so-and-so said to text you, we got three girls. What's good today and tonight? 
And Bird says, hello, I will be at Exchange tonight. You got Instagram? Question mark. Then she says, we're only here for a couple of days. We need a good day and night spot for today and tomorrow. Completely just ignored Clearly. the first question. Utterly Completely. Ignored. And we're going right to explain why it is very, very important to get the Instagram off rip. Okay. Then Bird um, follows. Do you have Instagram? Then she says yes. Then she never gave the Instagram. Wow. Then Bird put, so if I have to ask twice before you respond and you still don't give it to me, then it's clear you know the group isn't quote unquote guest list material. Now, before I continue, <laughs> <laughs> yo, hey, yo, this is what it is, bro. It is what it is. I'm going to call him. I'm going to call him. I'm going to see you I mean, material. I mean, th- I, I'm not, that shit don't surprise me. That does, that shit does not surprise me because. The Cubs have to maintain a certain look and shit, right? I'm assuming, like, I know nothing about this. Y'all are teaching me. I'm assuming those clubs have to have a certain aura. Let me, let me, they men. have to have a certain aesthetic. Yeah. Aesthetic. There you go. That's I'm, I'm calling right now. I'm calling right now. Or else people don't want to be there. Come yeah. on, Bird. Come on, Bird. Answer. Answer, Bird. I know you can answer. Come on. Birdman. Come on, Bird. No, nah, I don't care. Oh man, you talked about this topic without me. Did you know, Bert? <laughs> Bert, now nah, you were talking about petty. That nigga's petty. Nah, he's not answering. Come on, Bert. God damn it! Hopefully, he'll, oh, he'll, he'll probably call back. Um, okay, so look, I'm trying to get the band back together. So, bro. so, 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 so here, here's, here's the the hard truth when it comes to nightlife. At the end of the day, we must keep a certain standard. Of presence of looks in nightlife, especially when it comes to people getting or women, I should say, getting in for free. For free, yes, for, for free. free. Guess, okay, guestless. That guess, makes sense. Guestless material that makes means sense. free. That makes sense. Okay, I, I so if I'm letting you in for so, free, yes, if you I, have to help my. And club then also out. too, what a lot of people don't, what a lot of women don't understand, and when it comes to nightlife, not only that I'm le- I'm letting you in for free, right? But you're on my guest list, exactly. So you are a representation of me. Mm. So Oops. for me to continue that privilege that the club is actually giving me to pay me to bring beautiful and attractive women, I have to oblige. Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. Absolute sense. But women be getting in their feelings about this shit. Listen, ladies, it's it, not about you. It never is about you at the end of the day. It's, Can about, I ask the, it's, about, it's about the money. Can I ask something? What's up? So let's say uh, you run into a woman that's not guestless material. Okay. But she's loaded. Would that matter? Like she... It's a guarantee she's going to go in that club and she's going to buy mad bottles, mad food, whatever they sell in there. It's, would that make a difference? I wouldn't even walk her in on, on no guest list. I'd be like, yo, this is, is my she, client. Is she ugly? I said she's not guest list material. Okay. Well, if she has money, oh, so she'll probably either have to pay for cover or she has to get a table. Women, listen, listen. I mean, women got the bag now, so there are women that actually Now? Pay. They oh, yeah. had the bag. Oh, yeah. What I said well, last I podcast, when I, when I, when I've I, never met a broke woman. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Well, they out here. They're definitely out here. I never fuck with a broke woman. Tell them God talk. But um, yeah. So usually that women that are like that that do have a bag, they mm-hmm. they tend to um spend spend for bottles or spend for a table, just like a man. Honestly, it's not surprising. It so 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 they're not hitting nobody up for the guest list. No. Not at all. Okay, so okay. Uh, but but even you. if even if one reached out to me like that, I would walk her in as my as my client, and I'll and I'll I'll put my name on it, like yo, yeah. No matter how I, she I looks, can, I can vouch for this person. Yeah, take care of it. Yeah, no matter how all she right? looks, she's solid. I yeah. got you. Because here's the thing: whenever whenever we're doing favors, like you have to understand why we're even in the position to do favors, right? Because mm-hmm. it's it's we we understand this game and we respect this game and. Our years in the game have made us credible. So, well, when, when it comes when it comes to us, bro, like that's that's another level of like creditation. It's, it's a whole nother because level we're of not even promoters. We're not. You want to talk about it? You want to talk about it? Promoters. We can talk about it. I'm all ears. <laughs> we can talk, bro. Listen, listen, listen. Whenever we do some type of favors like that, bro, like that's an extra extra putting on the whim for all these people because number one, at times we're not getting direct money from the club. Oh. 
Mm-hmm. We just do. We're just doing it out of strength, and we're actually doing it to make sure that we, you know, lock in the client afterwards. You know, back, back end work. You already know what time. You know, oh, what, course, you know, know the vibes are. You know, what I'm saying don't want to give out too much fucking game, but um, no free game. No, 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 no free game. But um, don't tell them, like bro. You know what? That's what I fucking hate too, bro. I hate when people hit me up when they think that I'm a fucking promoter. I'm not a promoter, bro. I'm an executive host. Talk to me fucking nice. Mm. Tell him blood clot. That's perfect oh, that's time. So Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. 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 I wish I was Damn. 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 Sorry. My bad. <laughs> but so it's levels to the shit. Yeah. Because anybody can be a promoter. Like, it's, it's dudes that's out here. Um, it's their first week in Miami. They staying in a hostel and they walking around South Beach. A hostel, not a with, hostel. <laughs> and, and, and Dawn flip flops like, yo, um, just walking up to random groups of girls like, yo, what y'all doing tonight? I, I can get you in this spot, that spot, that spot, that spot. And first of all, they're lying. But second of all, they also carry the, the name promoter. Yeah. They can say that they're promoters. So we got to separate ourselves. From yeah. Dog, like every, you can't treat us all the same. Bro, I remember mm. back in the day when I used to work at... Um, at the club, I'm not gonna say the the, the 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 name of the club. Everybody knows where I used to work at. But um, bro, some of these fucking promoters, bro, so called promoters, bro, they be they be on some like just robbing robbing women. Uh. Bro, I remember one time this set of women came up to me, like eight or nine of them, when I used to work at the club, and they were like, "Hey, so we got this wristband, and we pay three hundred dollars each." <laughs> Hilarious. Oh my God. Ladies. No, Finesse God. City. Population, no, y'all. God, please, no. No. Listen. No. Oh, man. No. $300 is like, yo, ma'am, I have never seen that band in my life. All of them had these. You bands. just paid a nigga's rent you for a couple months. You paid almost three grand. Rough, but but you know yeah. what? You know how many times he's you no, know, you know how frequent shit like that be happening here in Miami all the time. Not even so. all it was, the it time. Crazy is they'll snap on the club like it's the club's fault. No, nah. this is scam capital, man. Which which brings me to my next point that I want to say is that it's actually it behooves it just behooves everybody, especially you know women to like sometimes getting in for free or just getting a hookup. Does not necessarily mean that you're getting a hookup. Sometimes you gotta pay the bag to be able, you know, you gotta pay to play. Like I would rather a set of women to fuck with somebody like me or Trey mm-hmm. that has never been here before that will pay the fucking bag because it's 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 a bag, but they will move accordingly and they won't get fucked up and they won't get screwed. Okay, got you. Yeah. But that's what happens when people want to balance between getting in for free or getting for the hookup or actually paying a bag and making sure that you be, you, you be getting taken care of. Like, bro, like just because you're a woman does not mean that you should be getting everything for fucking free here. Even oh. though that is the notion here in Miami, but sometimes that can backfire. Like I just said with those three women, like yep. they thought they got a deal. Oh shit. 300, 300 for it to, to get in and a fucking, and a, um, and a, and, and a bunch of bottles and shit. Nah, you got, you got fucking, but, uh, um, you got be uh, befuddled, or or you got, no, you bam- got ba- bamboozled. bamboozled. Yeah. Run amok. Yeah. <laughs> Let us try. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Hoodwinked. Hoodwinked. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, um, game, the game is so much more advanced here. Like here, Vegas, LA, New York. Like the, the game is different. Like don't come over here with your Tucson experience and like mm-hmm. think you can run game on Miami. Like it's nah. a, it's a different yeah. game, bro. Nah, not at all. This is this is the NBA. Yeah, you know I'm saying. And you coming from the G? Come from. Geely. Geely. <laughs> like, so my cousin came out here mm-hmm. from um from from Toronto. Okay. Shout out to Six, shout out Tasia. And I had to hit her with the same line. Like, like, yeah, I I can, I can get you in anywhere you want to go, but send me the pictures of your friends. Facts. Because at the end of the day, we're able to move through this landscape because of our credibility. Mm-hmm. And it took us years to gain this credibility. Mm-hmm. And it can take seconds for you to get rid of that seconds shit. Seconds to lose your seconds. credibility. Seconds. Tell them Tell them No, no. And, and, I'm, and, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yo, we, dog, please. I am so sorry, Trey. Real fucking quick, cool bodyguard. It takes, fu- it takes fucking years <laughs> to fucking build this fucking, this presence and this fucking notoriety. Nor, nor, what is it? Notoriety. Thank you very much. And this reputation or whatever in nightlife. But <laughs> it takes seconds to fucking get rid of this shit. Seconds to lose it. 
Yeah. So exactly. when we ask you to do certain things and we ask you to act accordingly when we taking care of y'all, fucking oblige. Sorry, my bad. Go ahead. So if I'm doing you favors. Welcome to the Bodyguard Podcast. <laughs> here, 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 here's, here's, here's what I'm doing, though. Like, I'm putting my credibility on the line for you. Tell them. And if I lose my credibility, I've effectively lost my job. Mm-hmm. Can I ask yes. y'all something? Uh, yes, go ahead. Do you make that explicit when you speak with this, whether it be a cousin or a stranger? Do you make that explicit, like, my job is on the line? Mm-hmm. We, we, the conversation never goes that far okay. with, with, with okay. my people. And if it has to go that far, then I'm, I'm already talking. What to is already people, known so like, does not need to be good, said, especially when it comes to family, because they already know what type of person you are and what you do. And also the credibility that you have. Now, when it comes to like, like you want to do that for anybody else unless they're fucking paying. Yeah, exactly. So just for family, they already know, they already know um, the type of, they already know the type of person you are and the type of, and the the fucking reputation that you have. So like, they're not going to fuck with your bag like that. Mm -hmm. But it's very, very, like, 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 she know I wouldn't ask for pictures for no reason. Like, 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 come on. So, like you want me to risk my job for you? Like, yeah, come correct yeah. for your one night. No, for your one night for your girls. Like, come on. Yeah, yeah. And then you know it, it's it's the it's 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 so it's so multifolded, bro. It's just like what it sounds like is go ahead. Just like and once again, I I don't know shit about this. It's, it's all good. You gonna know shit about y'all. it, bro. You gonna come out with us one day. You gonna fucked up. That's all I know. Oh, I'm down. <laughs> but but maybe but the it's night just one night. One night, baby. Just forgive me for please, now. please give dramatic one night. For, <laughs> like, but nightlife but, is an allegory for life, though. Mm, I, I'll let you finish that because I want to hear that. Mm-mm. Um, mm-hmm. go ahead. <laughs> what? Damn. What was I gonna say? Um. Oh, so what it sounds like is that. It sound, it's very indicative of this of this society. They want to participate in shit that they like, they see that's fun, but they uh-huh. don't want to follow the rules. Like, I assume if I go and participate in, the, participate in this nightlife shit, no matter what the rules are, I got to follow them. Yeah. I'm, I'm not special. I'm not one in a million where, oh, Jordan's here. Now we have to change the rules. No. Like, follow the fucking rules that we give you. Like, that's a lot of their mentality. They think they can come and just change the status quo just because they complaining, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, oh, this, yeah. this shit don't follow you. You follow it. Yeah, yeah, basically. Here's yeah. another thing, too, I want to say. Flip side, motherfuckers, the people that are in our position is very far and few in between that has the ability and has the privilege to be able to move around and be able to hook up, you know, and, 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 and to showcase your friends in these multi, you know, faceted and these exclusive clubs, right? Because these clubs and these venues do not owe you shit, especially if you don't fucking immediately bring you money. Right, mm-hmm. bring them money. Right, you have to be able to take care of the people that take care of you. Simple, very, very simple. What I mean by that is, is that if you have a a a a, a, a front rope guy, right, and you gonna and he's gonna walk four or five of your friends in, or just whoever, right, bro, slip him a fifty bucks, slip him a sixty bucks, slip him a hundred. What? Why is that so hard? Am I Am I bugging? Am I bugging? <laughs> Not at all. But this is more free game. But fuck it. We pod. Do it. Yeah. Fuck it. We pod. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, I got my notepad. I got. <laughs> nah, you, you, you got to take care of these people because this is how, like, this is this. Like, gatekeepers are a real thing. Yes. And and if you have somebody who's inside the organization that's going to go to bat for you, like, you got to go to bat for them. Dog, I, I remember when. I had, when I was a, a bodyguard just at the time, not just a host, but just a bodyguard, and I went back to my previous employer into that club. Bro, I took almost $200 out of my own pocket and tipped almost every single security guard in there. Because nobody was. Here's another, you know what, fuck it, we giving out free game right now. I'm, feel, I'm feeling fuck. real froggy, froggy right now. Fuck it. Wow. Fuck. Jump off the cliff. Nah, nah, you don't want you, you don't want me to. I, I mean, it's all right. the cast's already out the bed. Listen, 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 <laughs> listen. This is what you do, bro. No, you know why? Because guess what? I'm happy I'm able to share this. You know why? Because this is going to ev- uh, elevate the play of everybody. Because the bodyguard word is fucking shit right now. Tip, because y'all niggas don't know what the fuck y'all doing at all. Even private hosts and everything too. Like ninety percent of y'all are fucking trash. 90%. 90, maybe 95. So I'm going to give, you know what, as one of the the best executive hosts here in Miami or maybe even United States, I'm going to give you a fucking free game right now real quick. Tip, 
doesn't matter if it's five bucks, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, tip everybody within that establishment as much as possible. It'll go a long way. It's a principle. Don't even think that if you're getting paid seven hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars throughout the night. No, you know what? You got paid six hundred bucks. You got paid five hundred bucks. Because I guarantee you that fucking that that three or two hundred dollars that you spent or whatever, you're never gonna have to spend that shit again. You, you got to reinvest. You got to re yeah. You got to reinvest in your business. Yes. And mm. you build you building up that social capital. True. Because once you do that again, guess what? You don't have to. Do, once you do that one time. You're, you're established. But then also, too, here's another thing. You know what? I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that. I'm going to save it for after the pot. No, 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 no. Because Trey about to fucking kill me right now. They got enough. They got enough. I'm about to take that glass, bro. <laughs> that truth like, juice. Yeah, no, 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 no. I was going to say something else, but like, no, nah, no, nah, we good. All right. Um, Yeah, man. It, it's, 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 wow. but, and here's another thing, too. The reason why I know, like, you're not a part of nightlife or whatever, but like, if you're even, bro, since, since we're a part of nightlife, you're a part of nightlife, too. Nightlife, which I will say, it gives you a level of network and connectivity to your sp- perspective uh, a city mm-hmm. that nobody else can can get, okay. and people do not understand that. People and I'm gonna lead, it. and I'm gonna lead that alone. They I'm gonna lead that it. alone because I'm not trying to have a fucking right stray from fucking Trey. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, you, you don't want to know who's in my phone right now. Like people that I can text and they'll actually respond. Yeah, facts. And if you knew the names of these people, you'd be shocked. Yeah, definitely, but definitely. It, but it takes a long time to get there. You gotta respect the game. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so um, speaking of respecting the game, uh, yo, no, no, I'm jo- laughing. Jo- no, Jamag is fucking is, is, is no, no, enjoying I'm, this shit. No, no, I'm enjoying. I'm laughing because of like the the stunting y'all doing. You know what yeah, I'm, I'm like this. Is, it's, it's not even stunting. It's not even stunting. No, no, it's not it stunting. Is, it, it is. It, it, it is not even. It is not even. No, no, the tip I know it's not stunting. That's the thing. I know you. We've had these conversations. Yeah, before. I'm with you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But it's just like people watching, like, oh, they think they da da da. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. nah, this is life. All right. <laughs> um, so, oh, man. this has been this has been a, a, a phenomenal, like, all off the wall type of podcast. But it's all oh, good. Yeah. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to all of the women, all of USA, Jamaica, um, everybody that has won gold medals in the Olympics in Tokyo. Bra, bra, bra. You know, I had to. Yeah, no, it's, it is what it is. Fastest humans on um, <laughs> men, earth. Men's, men's basketball, women's basketball, uh, weightlifting. Um, oh. Go ahead. You mentioned basketball. Is KD the best in the world now? No. Okay. I see a lot of people saying no. that. That's all no, the he's not. I no, he's not. People just want something to no, say. No, he's not. He's number three. LeBron, Giannis. Nope. Giannis, Giannis LeBron, and Giannis, KD? LeBron, KD. Interesting. Okay. KD is the greatest scorer right now. But he's That's not the no best question. player. No, That's he's not no the best question, player. Yeah. He does not galvanize and is able to cultivate and, you know, get a team together. And he does not have the attributes as far uh, the 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 abilities that like a LeBron has as far as collectively. Okay. I see. In my in my opinion. Like he's not a he's not a leader as LeBron is. He's not a leader as much as Giannis is going to be. He's a leader already. I'll give you that. That's fine. I, 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 won't, fight I, won't, I, won't, me, I won't fight you on that. Giannis is making me notice Milwaukee, Wisconsin. No other reason I have to give a damn about Milwaukee except yeah. Giannis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. And for the, yeah, it's just, you know. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, man, uh, all shout outs to them. Um, I believe one of the events that happened, Jamaica won the gold medal on Jamaica Independence Day. Yeah, it was. If I'm not mistaken, it was the ladies off four by one. If I'm not okay, mistaken. there you go. Okay, good. Yeah. Shout out to them, man. Shout out to them. It was um, same we, boat. We, it's we, not we, even and women's running. and women's basketball too. How crazy. We win medals. Yeah, women's basketball too. Yeah, Shout women's out basketball. Y'all. They won gold. Yeah. yeah, double gold. Yeah, U.S. Nah. basketball. Yeah, definitely, yeah. man. Definitely, definitely. Um, okay. By so, the way, it don't matter what day of the year it is. We we still winning golds. Oh my goodness. I, I'll give you this. Tell them. <laughs> tell them. <laughs> <God God. laughs> Oh my god, I can't stand <laughs> none of y'all niggas, dog. Um okay, so before we wrap up, do we have an ask a gent or should we table that for next week? Let's uh let's table it. We I can wanna... table it. we can table it for next week. Right. Can we can we can we get into that uh to that stallion thing? Oh man, do we have time? You got you got time for what you make time for. Mm. Mm. 
I mean, if, if you want to get canceled, that's, that's, that's fine. That's, that's fine. I'm a, I'm you a, want me to get canceled? No, that's no, what I, I don't want you to get canceled, bro. Like, but but it, she but might I, end up I being respect, a client soon. I, I respect your right <laughs> to get canceled if you want. Okay, to get real quick. Mega Stallion says that the rap community has to stop the LGBTQ hate. Do you agree or no? Do you agree or disagree? Do I agree that they should stop the hate? Yes, that the rap community is quote unquote homophobic. So why is she a part of it? You got that's me. All, that's all I gotta you, say. You got me, bro. I mean, but but like it's it's, right. ba- it's based off of what like the baby said. Even okay, though first I had all, no problem with the baby first of all, said exactly. First of all, you're not gonna base a genre off one nigga who makes ten of the same songs every year. Let's start there. The baby is not a representative or an ambassador of hip hop in any capacity. Got you. He may have a fan base, maybe a good rapper. Personally, I don't think he's all that good. I literally like one song for him. So yeah. don't base it off the baby. Now, uh-huh. if you want to base this generation off of that, that's different. Yeah. Because hip hop does change by generations. Like there is that, you know, there there were generations, you know, we went through the whole conscious and the gangster uh-huh. and the pop and the uh-huh. da-da-da. Uh-huh. So this generation, I feel like I wouldn't say they're necessarily homophobic, but a lot of their shit is being exposed now as a because back then obviously we didn't have the internet and shit. You didn't think a, some rappers thought some shit that would get them canceled, but they didn't have the outlet of Twitter to put their foot in their mouth and you know shit like that. Now I know it happened at a concert, yeah, and concerts have been going on before the internet and all that. But yeah, he's had other shit before that um, has been exposed by social media. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's the biggest issue. But that doesn't excuse you hating and, you know, speaking derogatorily to anyone. I don't condone that for LGBTQ, straight, asexual, whatever. Uh-huh. You're just supposed to treat humans properly. You're supposed yeah. to treat humans no, I got good. You. Uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? But as far as the home, I wouldn't say hip hop is homophobic. Do you think, I wouldn't do, really do say hip hop is homophobic. Think, it can think, be, it has tendencies, but straight up homophobic? I don't, I don't honest, I really don't understand the term homophobic. Okay. Do you have a fear or aversion to? Um, I'm not afraid of anything. I'm not afraid. Do of Do you have an aversion to it? That it's, no, no, no. That's not a phobia. No, no, no. That, you're right. They no, you change, know, you just they change you, words around. You just ask what 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 does a term phobic mean? Yeah. Pho- phobia. Phobia is a fear. No, you're right. Fear but or aversion. I don't know. I, I don't no, know. No, about, I don't know comes, about aversion. Bro. No, no. When it comes to that, it's a or because. You know, nowadays you can put any word or anything in the dictionary and make it mean anything. Mm-hmm. So, hold yeah. On, on. <laughs> but as far as as far as what what she's talking about, like, is she talking I, about specifically about what the baby said, or just an overall in reference she, in reference in, to in that. reference? Like, yeah, that's how the conversation okay. started. And um, yeah, the baby he he went off on a little a little tangent, but he never mentioned. Rapper Mega Stallion weighed in on the topic of LGBTQ hate in the rap community, saying it's time for two for the two to come to terms. Following the baby's recent controversial statements on AIDS and gay people, that's he didn't unfair. That's unfair. People, that's did unfair. He? No, he did not. Okay. And he had not, dog. That right there, dog. Fuck out of here, dog. Fuck out of here, Meg. Like he, she, he did not say anything about AIDS. Anyways, whatever. no, he did. He did. He did. He said. AIDS? Can we get? He said comments? HIV. He said if you have AIDS. What he said, um... If you don't have HIV, if you don't have HIV, uh, make noise. And so, yeah, if you don't like suck that. dick in the in parking lot. In the lots, parking lot, yeah. He... Now, I understand why that could be cringeworthy, but, like... It I, is cringeworthy, but it's yeah. not homophobic. He no. never mentioned... He never used the F word. He never mentioned nothing many about enter- Many entertainers are weighing in. During an interview for People Magazine, Stallion26 uh, says, it's about time for the hip-hop communities to stop hating on the LGBT community. Okay, I don't necessarily think that the rap community is hating on the LGBT community. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, I'm I'm sure the community contains haters. Yeah, the yeah. There's LGBT probably haters just like in any it. community. Yeah, but we don't talk about the wild out shit that fucking Lil Nas X is doing and, and, and this whole fucking demonic shit. We're not talking about that though. No, because this letting, world does not value religion like you used to at all. Yeah, and then, that's very evident. Yeah, and then also too, like for some reason, like 
I think that right now there's, a, there's an imbalance in the world. I agree. There's an imbalance, you know, how you said it in the beginning, like about masculinity, and now it's like more of a feminine. Mm-hmm. Now it's about straight. Now the pencils are swinging to, you know, gay, queer, and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But there needs to be a shift. I just don't understand that there's too much echo chambering going on right now, bro. What do you mean? Like, <sighs> by the way, he did he did come at the gays. Oh, he did. Okay, yeah, I was wrong. He did. How did he come at the gays? Said, uh, "Fellas, if you ain't sucking D in the parking lot." Oh, he said, "Fellas." Oh, I, okay, I was wrong there. My bad. How is he coming at the gays by saying that? Because if you're not sucking dick. Yeah, gay, gay man. I mean, he, he he apologized for it. So He had to apologize. He lost over yeah. millions of dollars over that shit. Yeah. I didn't hear the apology. But uh, what? Uh, I, well, the PR, uh, the PR team basically did it. Okay, but I just don't like the imbalance. Like, you brought up Lil Nas X. Like, mm-hmm. I have no feeling towards him. I don't wish any failure on him or nothing. His, his music's not that all, all that good to me. I'm judging him as an artist. I don't give a shit about his personal life. You put out music, I like it or I don't. But you brought that up because, you know, although I do curse and all that, I am Christian. I do follow, you know, the Christian ideals. So why can't I complain about his video? You have the right to complain about what the baby said. That was wrong. That's derogatory and sensitive. But why can't I feel the same way about what Lil Nas X did? That's all I'm asking. Why? Why? That's why, all I'm asking. Why are we at a place right now? Where it seems very, very taboo to be heterosexual. I wouldn't say it's taboo. Not taboo, but yeah. like, you I wouldn't know, say it's it, taboo, it, it's, but it's, it's not. Or to be pro heterosexual. It's like, if you are pro heterosexual, mm-hmm. then you're anti gay. Then you're anti. That, that's what they well, say. I mean, it's, it's very, that's the agenda. It's, it's that's very, the agenda. It's very yeah. easy to be both, though. It's, it's very easy to, to accidentally. Reveal that you're anti-gay through your through your pro straightness. How? I don't get that. I mean, what do you think about the baby? Well, he's a, he's just an idiot. That, that's the difference with him. But anyway, and then, and then, and then regarding <laughs> hip hop, like I've I've never been one for police and speech. I like hip hop is an art form, mm-hmm. and same with stand up comedy. And, yeah, and, and these and art art reflects life. And these dudes would never have been hip hop artists if they didn't come out of these communities where these attitudes are held. Mm-hmm. But do you know why these? The, but you. Mm. So I'm saying if if that if that's your if <laughs> that's your art, yo, that. fuck it, speak your truth, and and everyone who hears it will have an opinion about it, and maybe you will evolve over time, maybe you won't. But um, but the thing is, he never ever came out and said, "Yo, fuck gays." He didn't have to. He didn't. No, no, no. But, but he but didn't. What, he did. He but didn't. Tra- but what, but what you're saying, saying is that, that based comment. on that does not mean that he hates gays, bro. Oh, come on. Not, not, not even like. Oh, that. Well, all right, no, no. I'll give Marvel that. It, I don't know it, how he feels about gay people. That's true. But that comment is not helping. That's all he said at all. That comment's not helping, dudes. If you're in the parking lot sucking dick, and what do you say after that? Don't put your hand up or whatever. Uh, yeah, put your cell phone light in the air. Yeah, they, like. They, and, and it's just two plus you two. You guys is four. are acting like he's saying, "Hey, man, if um, if 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 you a fellow, whatever, and you hate gays and you hate gay men, put your hands up in the air." No, he uh, never said that. But but you're what man, but you guys are saying that he's what implying man that he sucks says that dick, gay men. So who else could he be talking about? I'm just saying what <laughs> they're saying. I can give, and a I'm shit. not disagreeing. Yeah, it was just sorry. Like, I can't. It, I don't it was, give a shit. It was. It was. It, I mean, he could have definitely said something a little bit different. Yeah, like, like he could have said, "Hey, let, hey, ladies, hands in there. Hey, men, that that's there. it. I get that's it. it. I, it was I just understand like, that. Where, where did that come from? The, it, it just. It just. Okay. So, like it was barbershop so, talk so that slipped out in public. There <laughs> is. There is an underlined disdain. I would say, right? Not disdain, but like, I guess maybe. <sighs> God damn it, man. I don't want to really. Mm. You don't want to get canceled? No. Huh? <laughs> no, 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 fuck no, these no. niggas. I don't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> I don't give a fuck about them. Um, at the end of the day, when it comes to not disdain, but I guess just not really uh, agreeing with certain things and certain agendas and certain mentalities or certain like behaviors or whatever, mm-hmm. at times when it comes to the black community and LGBTQ or just you know, 
like homosexuality, I should say, mm-hmm. there's a reason for that. There's a reason. There's for... a reason why black people, when it comes to history, why they would have some type of resistance resistance toward towards that. Well, yeah, I think yeah, I see yeah, what you do. You do you do you guys know what it is? Is it slavery? There, there's several slavery. Reasons. There's slavery. There's there's. There's actions and behaviors that the white um, slave master used to. You're talking fuck. about buck breaking. Yes. Yeah. And no. You're fucking, right. And fucking little black boys in the ass, or whatever, in front of their freaking family. In front of their family. To yeah. Freaking emasculate them. Yeah. There's you're right. Also, but, but other you, shit. You could you could fast forward to the crack epidemic and the war on drugs, how all of our men just disappeared. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's they another form. Died and went to prison. So once hip-hop, again, fuck you, Lyndon B. Johnson. So way. facts. So oh, bona fide racist. Hope you're rotting in hell. So hip hop sprang out of um, sprang out of an era where people were feeling powerless, and in response, they created an art form that was um, hyper masculine, like overly masculine, mm-hmm. which is why misogyny is such a big thing in hip hop, mm-hmm. and um, and uh, anti gay. Was a really big thing in hip hop for a really long time, and it, it, was, was. Just, it, it was, was. It was. It was just. No, it was just a normal thing. It was. Like I remember when I was a kid, it was. It was normal to call other kids the f word. Yeah. Like the bullies, but not if they were being gay. Like. Oh yeah, we, if they use the gay. f word. Well, no, no, it was. No, it, was, it, was a, it was in term of 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 like of softness, like softness, yeah, and the, like, they indicate you know, softness, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah it, it was a term to represent everything that you didn't want to be as a man. Yeah. You know what's real crazy? Actually, I'm on. Uh, I'm gonna save that for after the pod. <laughs> right. But um, the uh, uh, the dramatic, like when you do that, like we're hearing. Oh, that. sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. But yeah, man. Look, I mean, yes, we should definitely accept all people. I get it. Um, that's fine. That's cool and dandy. I just want equal outrage. That's all. You yeah, ne- you'll never sides. have equal outrage. I know I'll never you get it. That's never why I said equal I, outrage. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah. This yeah. is the, this is That's the victim all. Olympics. Right and and we all we it. all participate. Yeah, yeah. no facts. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. But I for one, yeah, I celebrate all humans. Um yeah. in, in all their humanity. And um let, let, I, I wouldn't have said what he said. No, and, of course not. And and I don't think his comments were helpful in the short term but i do believe that they he did create an opportunity to have a conversation a broader conversation across um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. across society across the interwebs and whatnot mm-hmm. yeah. and, and it um, had to be in miami dog damn yeah at at all. All. our at city always gets the weird at at where that's attention well, what is, there's nothing else happening anywhere else everywhere else is yeah, shut facts, down facts, facts yeah facts. except here yeah oh, it is what it is man it is well what it is. to put it simply I don't care if you like assholes. I just care if you are an asshole. Hmm. And it, I, and I, <laughs> That's it. I, I don't think I don't think Megan the Stallion should come at hip hop because art imitates life. Mm-hmm. So you need to go to the source of these problems. Yeah, go to the same the, the baby. same energy the go, same energy. No, that you go deba- to wherever the baby's from. Yeah. Oh, okay, I go. I go. Okay. Yeah, but the same time too, keep it even though. Like the same energy that you have for the baby, give it fucking little uh, little nods as too. But niggas don't want to talk about that. No, because he's liberating. He's yes, liberating, self. liberating, and yeah. demonic, and all that shit. Anyways, yeah, I don't care. These comments do not represent me. <laughs> Just crazy. All right, man, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Um, my opinions and, are and, my <laughs> own. <laughs> um, phenomenal pod, absolutely. Great pod, per use, yeah, per use. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, shout out to everybody. Um. As always, uh, anything yeah. else? Are shout we, out we, to us for being here, man. Yes, yeah, for real. yes, and also, yeah. Just, yeah. Shout just out to little, everybody, man, for real. Just a little, you know, side note. Shout out to anyone that's reached out to me in the past month or so. Yes, sir. I appreciate y'all, whether it's a call, text, or in person meeting. It's greatly appreciated, and man. I hope that it's everybody helpful. that is reaching out to that same person that needs help that they have somebody to be able to reach out. Yes, to. absolutely. Even Straight a up. therapist need a therapist. Yes. All day. Absolutely. All right. Let's get out of here. All right, guys. Thank you so much for rocking with us. As always, it's always been a pleasure. Until next week, stay cool. Deuces.